Every time we want to get back to him, we got to go nine floors. Is this the top floor? We're so done. We're so done. Who goes there? Who dares to trust upon a pass? Two chairs to trespass upon my airplace, airspace. That voice. Could it be Rayquaza? Oh, it is. Indeed, I am. The sky's my domain. Depart at once. But we don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never. Pokemon deserve to die. Gua. Pokemon deserve to die in your opinion. I'm a being of the sky, and you are but on the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of million years, never once have I descended to the ground. Take charge of your destiny! Alkazam, snap out of it. Huh? This place. by but the rest of you screw you out because i'm screw you even m m you're a mixed bag you you were there for me sometimes but other times you got on my freaking nerves so i liked you but screw you marvin your body what's happening to you i'm getting out of here m i'm getting out of here man and everyone i'm sorry but i have to leave see <laughs> what what are you saying i'm getting out of here everyone thank you for everything all this time Huh? <laughs> it was just like, leave? What do you mean, leave? Like, I'm out of here! My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! Go back? To the human world? Huh? What? Why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we? Aren't we friends? I love, I love it. I love it. Because he's like, I, I hate how he tries to spin it as though I'm portraying him because I want to go back home. Screw you. First off, you're inconsiderate because you don't know what life I have outside of this world. So for me, for you to kind of get upset at me to go home, you're gaslighting me because I'm going home. And you don't even know what type of family I have outside of this world. So you know what? Screw you on that end. Yes, you will always be my friend, Em. I will never forget you. Don't go, Marvin. I'm blessed to have met you. I, what am I going to do when you're gone, Marvin? I, I don't know. Eat food or something. I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. By the way, um, I want to mention, this is the only time in the game. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Caterpie, yeah, I feel so bad. This is the only time in the game where your character actually voice gets lines. Like lines that everyone and you can see as well. Like this is really it. This is the only time where he gets lines in the entire game that everyone can see and hear as well as you. But I'm out of here. See ya. Marvin, no! So I used to cry. Like did this, ha this ending has, I'm sure some of you are out there crying right now. It used to have me crying. I ain't crying right now, though. Yeah, but Marvin, why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Even try All you got, Marvin, saved my life. All of you guys, every single one of you guys, were mean to me at some point, and now you're sad? Screw you. But I hadn't done anything to show my thanks left before I could even say thank you. You're right. Just upped and went like that. I mean, you guys were all jerks to me. Every single one of you. Every single one of you walked all over me at some point. And you made fun of my name when we first met. Screw all of you. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. So... This was coming. Our world. It was saved by Marvin. I look back now. When bound for the sky, Marvin seemed as if resigned... Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. You know, Marvin must have Marvin must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when and when the star was destroyed, Marvin knew that would be the time to leave. Yep. Why? Why didn't Marvin tell me earlier? Because if I had told you, you would have reacted like a mess, and you probably would have wanted the world to get destroyed. So, if this was coming, why didn't Marvin tell me? 
those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Marvin must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand him. So, Mark, man, if you don't stop acting like a punk, screw you. Is it credit time? It's credit time. Oh, God, this is so nice. Silence. What is this? We're going back. We're, we're out of here, Bucko. I'm rising into the sky. Look how nice this looks. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Voices. I hear voices. Yeah, you hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, M is a friend for life, I'm sure. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, perhaps you will meet again. In other words, I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable, irreplaceable friend. Oh, would you look at that? It's the house. Everyone's out here. I hate the way this game does it, by the way. Look. They all just turned around, and here I was. <coughs> yep, I'm back, my boys. What's good? And okay, so I hate this game, right? I hate this game. Uh, no, I love this game. I don't hate the game. I hate the way this game does it because, unlike other games, this game does not make you work for it, right? It doesn't feel like it just happens. And the story of M, uh, the story of Marvin and M ends here. But Sega Palace isn't done yet. There are many rescues to be done. A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. 
I would. I'm saving my adventure. Save completed. And there, right there, ends Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The main game. That's the end. There it is. But we're not done yet because I'm pretty sure this game has an epilogue. But uh, maybe it doesn't. I hope I hope it does because I hope I don't look stupid because I know every game after this does. But I'm like, it's been. This was the first one I played in 2021. I played this way back in January 2021. Was the last time I played this. So I don't necessarily remember. Maybe it might have been 2022 though. It could. I meant 2020. Was it? No, it had to be 2021. The point is, I played it almost two years ago at this point now, right? Um, so I don't remember necessarily if it has an epilogue. I'm pretty sure it does. But I do know that I can't stand the way this game does it. So, spoiler, spoiler alert for literally every other game after this. Um, they make you work for your character to come back, right? So, you have to, the epilogue is usually about you getting your partner back, or you coming back to your partner, blah, 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 or your partner getting you back. This game doesn't do that. It just kind of gives your partner back out of nowhere. It, it makes the entire point of you leaving kind of dumb and less sad. It is sad when you first play it, but, you know, it's not as sad right now. So, let's hop back in and see what's going down. Due to Marvin and M's heroic actions, the falling star was destroyed, and peace returned to the world of Pokemon. But that did not put an end to the natural calamities. Natural disasters still occurred, but much less often. Needless to say, Sega Slayer 64, Sega Pal 64 rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later, here we go. The epilogue, it does have one, good. So this is several mornings later. We're back in, it's not over. M, you just coming into my house? Good morning, Marvin. Did you just wake up? I went by the Pelopo post office earlier. The bulletin board was full, was still covered with rescue talk, with rescue jobs. Even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help, Marvin. Let's keep doing let's keep on doing our best as always. So let's just double check and make sure. Caterpie, Marvin. Well hi Caterpie and Metapod, what's the matter? It's Snubble. There's something weird going on. Snubble is weird? Weird how? He looks completely different. He evolved, baby! Let's go to the square. He, he he evolved. Maybe we get to evolve. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe I know. I don't know. Hi, Uncle Sam. Hi, Uncle Sam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happened to him. I'm Snubble. What? What? You're a Snubble? But well, you don't look anything like the way you did before. I don't really understand either. You evolved. I went to the cave there, and all of a sudden, what cave? It appeared without me noticing. See, right there. There it is. It's the cave. There you went in there. Yep. I came out looking like this. Snowball under one evolution. He evolved. There you go. Evolution? Evolved? I don't follow. Pokemon upon satisfying certain conditions may evolve. When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, it appear its appearance changes. Oh wow, your own appearance? That can change? Yeah, you also get stronger. I suspect the cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a guess. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was a, a new way, uh, whatever. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the world's balance has been restored. And perhaps that cave became... Okay, so if I evolved, I would become like Metapod? I wish. I want to be Butterfree quickly. Wait a second. I don't know if I like this or not. My cute little face turned all craggy. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes through evolution. One's, one's power and abilities may be enhanced, for example. Oh, really? I, I might be stronger? That makes me want to evolve even more. I wish I could be Butterfree soon. Me, me too? I want to go. Let me go down there and get some of that. Can we evolve if we go to the cave? Yes, but it would depend on conditions. Marvin, let's go to the cave if we're ready to evolve. I'm up out of here. Let's get it out of here. The entrance is too narrow. There's only room for one. Come along to enter. What? Come along to enter. Who is on the team, actually? They said come along to enter. What do you mean, come along? Is someone on my team? Say that Lombri. He assumes me so. A long time no see. You are well. You see, I have heard about Lombri's tale. It is too funny. Ever the Lombri almost drowned at sea. But that Lombri, he lives in water. How very pathetic. Is that really what you're here for? 
Uh, we're looking to visit Duskull because I, he might be on my team. If he is, I gotta tell him to go away. It's not on the team. So what do they mean, come alone? What do they mean? I'm confused by what they mean as come alone. I, I'm, what? Come alone to enter? Hold on, I, I, hold on, I gotta figure this out because I don't remember. I'm trying to stay there for a Come alone to enter. Who do I gotta talk to? I suspect the cave is where evolution can take place. You should have a case if you wish to evolve. I might become stronger. Who should I talk to? It's just it's rather narrow. Only one may enter at a time, it seems. If you wish to enter a cave, you must come alone. What do you mean, come alone? Well, I hope I can be. How do I tell him to buzz off? So you must come along. I'm confused. How do I tell him to, you know, buzz off? He doesn't really have a habitat. He doesn't really have... M, how do I tell you to buzz off? There's something I wanted to talk to you with before we go to a dungeon. Oh, what's that? You know how we always go to dungeons together, Marvin. But I think we'll be seeing all sorts of different dungeons from now on. I think some of them will be tough, even for us. So I have an idea. Instead of us running thing, running things all the time, we should let the team do as a whole do it. How about we change things so we can pick the leader and members to go into dungeons? That means we won't be going on rescues to certain dungeons, but that will let us handle rescues better by having more Pokemon types available. Do you like the idea, Marvin? Do you think it'd be a good idea to freely choose leaders? Yes. No, that's right. I thought you'd agree, Marvin. Okay, new role. We can now freely pick the Pokemon that are going into dungeons. I think this is how we should have. That we should pick the leader of Team Gun. And uh, in in its friend error, face the team member you want as the leader. Then select Make Leader on the menu. That will make the Pokemon the team leader. We should do that before every dungeon. One more thing. We should make it so a team leader can go into a dungeon alone if he wants. Anyway, to choose the leader of a dungeon's team in a friend area, use Make Leader. We should always choose the team leader in its friend area before sending the team to any dungeon. Okay, so team, stand by. M left the team to remain on standby at the friend area. So where is M's friend area? Where is it? Can we go see it? We can. Let's see where M's friend area is. It's here. So this is where M goes. He has a house, apparently. This is where he goes every time we leave him. You see? It appears to be a little tense. Uh, yeah, there he is. There's M. That, that's that's where that's where he lives. That's where he lives. He lives in the marsh. So just remember that. M lives in the marsh. Now we're alone. So now we can go evolve by ourselves. We're when we come out, we're gonna we're totally gonna be super cool and uh, evolution and, and and sick and, and and all that cool stuff, you know. Also, do you realize we could have just come down one at a time? A voice emits from somewhere. Ye who seeks awakening. This is Luminous Case. Do you seek a new evolution? Yes. Will you give an item for evolution? No. Let us begin. Marvin is undergoing changes. Marvin's appearance changed. It evolved from Charmander to Charmelon. Ye shall return if evolution is what you seek. I evolved. Okay, so here we go, guys. Um, I lied to you. <laughs> I lied. I told you for years, I even did a, I even looked it up like there was no evolution in the game. Yes, I knew there was evolution in the game. Uh, it's at the end, though. Like, you don't get it until the end. I don't know, uh, remember when we looked up the Wikipedia, right? I don't know why the Wikipedia said it didn't have, the game didn't have evolution. It does actually have evolution. You do get to evolve at the end. I knew you did, uh, and you do get to evolve, so, you know, there you go. You seek awakening. You seek a new evolution? Yes. No. You cannot evolve yet. You have not a high enough level. You shall return to evolution is what you seek. So, um, if if you can evolve as many times as you want to, I can actually become a Charizard. It is possible. You do have to, to actually become Charizard, though, you do have to, uh, I make it clear that you do actually have to, um, you, to, to uh, actually become Charizard, you actually have to freaking, uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna have to make it the leader. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. There we go. So I am now. M is now the leader. This is uh, my first time playing as uh, M. 
Uh, it's strange, it is, but this is what you would see if you played as Mudkip. So, um, fun fact, uh, if we go inside the rest of your team base here, I don't actually know where, uh, I go. Like, I don't actually know where I go. It's so strange. But, yeah, and you do also have to evolve anyone you want to evolve one by one, by the way. It is annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, yes, you do actually have all three forms of evolution, and to get it... Come on, home to enter. Who is with me, exactly? Yeah, okay. There we go. So, um, yeah, you do actually a voice and braces. You see, blah, 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 this is okay. How are you talking to me? Shut up. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and by the way, once you, uh, once you evolve, once you evolve, that's it. There's no going back. Oh, my God. Evolve. No. Blah, 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 blah. It evolved from Mom Kip. There you go. Boom. There, there, there's your new M. Uh, cool, right? So, uh, let's go see how we find myself and get myself back. There, there's M. He looks cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they give it to you at the end of the game. Where, where would he be at? Like, why, why is he not here? This is still his base, right? This is still where he lives. I, I mean, I, I just think it would only make sense for, uh, there he, there he is. Where exactly would he live? So, he lives here. This is actually pretty stupid. So, uh, yeah, again, th if you want to play as any other Pokemon, you can, but only after you beat the game. So, there you go. Also, by the way, uh, M will never be with you again. He, he will never walk around the square with you again. Once you... Listen, this is... Uh, uh, make, make sure you remember this. If you play this game, right... Uh, he'll never do it again once you leave to a dungeon, but like, if you play this game, be aware that he will never walk around with you again. He does that for the story he purposes only. After that, he'll never walk with you again. It's over. The Magnemites will forever stay here, though. Keep up the rest of your work, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if we talk to some people, the jump off appears to have left on the winds. I shall miss them. I went to the cave, but I couldn't evolve in the Butterfree. That's too bad, Metapod. I bet you weren't a high enough le level. Wait, if you train and raise your level, I think you'll be able to evolve. Oh, so it's my level. I get it. I work at leveling up and blah, blah, blah. You get uh, you get the same thing. Um, So, uh, yeah, that that's the game's way of telling you about evolution. So, uh, there is really no... I knew it. There is really no epilogue to be found here. Also, I just really think it sucks and it feels bad that you don't really get to walk with M anymore. I think it should still be an option that you can enable if you want to. Um... Yeah, so uh, let's just, let's just, uh, here's what we'll do. We're spending the rest of our time talking to everyone, saying goodbye to everyone, you know, because this will be the last video we ever see them in, so, you know, unless, like, ten years, unless five years down the line I decide to replay this game or something, or Red Rescue Team or something, but, yeah, this will be the last time we see them. This won't be the last time I see them. I'll see them all again in a year or two when I come back to play in this game, but, you know, this will be the last time we see them, so let's say goodbye to, uh, Bellsprout. Oh, hello. Did you know? Somewhere in the world, there is an extremely rare Pokemon named Chansey. This is what they say about Chansey. If you are lucky enough to meet one, you will be filled with happiness. I wonder what sort of Pokemon it is. Wouldn't you like to meet one even once? So, okay, again, the game does have a bunch of random side quests and random things you can come across. Uh, uh, and you should keep doing rescue missions if you're going to play it, if you're looking to 100% the game. Because there are things you got to do. Okay, you want to get a full, you want to get your entire team, or at least you and, or you and your partner to uh, max evolution and the max level. You can look for Chansey. You can look for rare stones and items that you wouldn't get normally just to have them in your collection and again a lot of things you also could do if you had online like there was a battle thing and there was a bunch of other different things you could cool things you could do if you had internet back in the day those no longer exist so now you just got to do you just got what the game offers my team hydro is bronze rank we need to do better our team rumble rock is famous but we're actually only normal rank. It's an embarrassment. So again, further, further proof right here. If you would like to get your uh, team higher, uh, that's another thing. That's another option you have. You should get your team to a higher rank. You see? So you might, you, if you want your team to be at like, let's see, a higher rank. Usually, it's so weird because usually uh, my partner is usually freaking Squirtle, and Squirtle will be my partner going forward from here on out. Well, until uh, Gaston Finney. Not that on uh, the next Let's Play is going to be a mystery dungeon game. 
Uh, I, I think, I, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I, let me know down in the comments below, do you guys want me to continue on with Mystery Dungeon, or do you think we should move on to something else? I don't know, but let's talk to uh, the last one here. Darlings, did you know? Every so often there are rescue tops that reward you with a new friend area. Well, lately, there have been rumors about a new friend area, the Sky Blue Plains, they say. Just maybe getting that friend area would be the start of something enhancing, darlings. If you spot rescue jobs that seem promising, you should try them. So, uh, yeah, the bulletin board still exists. Here you go. Uh, you're encouraged to sit here and do missions in some of the higher levels, and there are tons and tons and tons, and the missions will always, there'll always be some for you. They repeat, Papa still hasn't come home. Our son, sorry to make you wait. There he is. Oh, that voice. Oh my god, you guys are blowing it up. Get set. Eh. Ha. 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 Dude, really? Papa! Our son, I'm sorry for causing you anxiety. Papa, where were you? We were traveling the world. The world is vast. There are countless Pokemon around the world that are unknown in these areas. So let me explain to you guys something, right? Uh, I didn't really show you guys this, but from the from the ending of from way back, if you remember way back, I think it might have been episode two or three. We met the Diglett family, right? Um, the thing about the Diglett family is after those events. Diglett is left here. He's left here at Power Upper Post Office, and he will sit here. Again, he might. That was way back in episode 3. This is like episode 13 in Final Champs. It's really the ending, but it's like episode 13. The point here is that he will sit here. He they, he, he makes his family sit. He makes Diglett, uh, poor Diglett sit here for the entirety of the game. So, again, the game couldn't have been more than a week or two. Like, just entire, the entire events of the game couldn't have been more than through a week or two or a month at most. But he sits here by himself and while they travel the world. Just look at the child abuse. That's why you were gone? Papa, did you see all the Pokemon that aren't known in these areas? Of course. What do you take us for? Oh, of course. Papa, you're so special. So, that's, that's what you get. If you want to talk to him again, my Papa is so special. What do you take us for? Uh, or, um, yes. So there we go. There. Also, by the way, this is considered one person. They they act as three, but Diglett sees them as one, and they are seen as one. Um, screw those guys. Really, they made that poor fella sit there. So let's talk to the rest of the guys. Uh, we're not gonna talk to the shopkeepers. They have. Uh, uh let's see. Friends are my treasures. See, they don't have any special dialogue. That's just it. Alex uh, Sam here though. For many years, countless Pokemon have served on rescue teams. Many have engraved their names in glory. But if anyone asks about the greatest of them all, there's but one hero. It's Lucario. Who exploits as a who exploits as a rescue leader are the stuff of legends. I aspire to become like Lucario, to become even closer to Lucario's greatness. That is my goal and my dream. So, uh, the game talks about Lucario. As far as I know, for years I've been playing this game, I've never once encountered him. Like, I've encountered Chansey, but I've never once encountered him. So, I'm pretty sure he's just legend as, like, just a thing they throw out there. But, you know, it is what it is. Lombri, how you doing? Last time. Huh? What's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I wasn't drowning! Jeez, they're making up stories about me. Want to know what really happened? Yes, I do. See, I went out to the sea to frog a while back. You know, I was trying to that dive thing. So I was having fun going underwater, and I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden, those wicked clouds rolled in, and before I knew it, there was a full-blown storm raging. There's more. A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked. Whiteless. Uh, <laughs> wait, witless. I got out of there fast. But who guessed it? A dungeon in a stormy sea. In other words, this is a... Huh? You want to know more about the dungeon and see? Blah 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 out there, so I can't tell you much. I know. Maybe Wishcash would know something. Yeah, that's best. Go talk to Wishcash. Again, this game doesn't have epilogue. This game isn't like other games. It doesn't have an epilogue, so it gives you a bunch of random side quests you can act to go try out. We're not going to do that, though. I don't really care. So rescue rank? How high do you get? We're still normal rank. We're trying, but... Our team got the gold rank, but I think the rescue ranks go higher than that. I wonder what's higher than the gold rank. I can't imagine it. I'm getting up on trying to turn back into Snub Bull. From now on, I'm living as Grand Bull. Pleased to meet you. How do you just know what your name is right off the bat? Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, that, there it is. We've talked to everyone. Oh, actually, before we actually do talk to everyone, before I actually call it right then and there, let's go down here to, uh, we talked to the Magnemites, right? If we didn't, keep up. Yeah, that's all they said. Okay. There we go. Let's just make sure nothing is down here at the dojo. Oh, there he is. 
This is the m okay, dude. Okay, that's it. Go train your own heart. Go train blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that really seems to be it, guys. Uh, you know, for old time's sakes, how about we just take ourselves a stroll? By the way, I know I know this game does leave a lot of loose ends. And I, and I, and I hate it as much as you do. I really, trust me, I really do. I really hate it as much as you do. But there's, there's not much, this game leaves a lot of loose ends on things that we will just never figure out, right? Why did Gengar help us in the end? Was the, Did he have a motive? What was his motive? You just don't figure it out. This game doesn't tell you, you know? You just, it just kind of ends. I, I, you know, maybe Rescue Team DX does. I, I still have to play it to see if they added anything elements. I don't imagine they did, but who knows? Maybe they did, right? By the way, I, I know I'm just playing here. I'm, I'm just joking. But, uh, you know, like, they, they, it does leave, in my opinion, a few good loose ends. You know, whatever happened to Groudon? Did he was calm? Whatever happened to Ninetales? Did he did he see the world being saved? Rayquaza, what happened with him? Did his hyper beam save the world? And did he live? Or, you know, that was good work today. I should get some rest. There you go. You just, uh, you never see team members dispersed to their friends area. There we go. We never get to see him here again. It is very sad. It is actually really sad that you just never see him walking with you again. And that's just how the game does it from here on. Like, after this, he is no longer treated as a character of... Spe like, even you aren't really treated as a character as being special anymore. You're all just kind of treated as uh, rescue animals, which kind of sucks to me. I love how later games don't do this. Later games, actually... I think Spike Chunsoft kind of realized that this was dumb. And later games, no matter what, you and your partners remain together. You walk together. So there might not be any more stellar story elements, but you still walk around this together. Together, you are still treated as uh, one. And uh, friend areas as a whole kind of die out until Gates to Infinity. So, you know, that's pretty good. But um, they kind of die again in uh, Super Mystery Dungeon, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, to, in, in this game, they uh, in this game, it's pretty stupid how it works. So, um... Yeah, I think we better go uh, stand here, you know, say goodbye one last time, you know. Uh, so, that being said, I thank you all for joining me on this long, long journey. I, I really appreciate, hold on, you know what, screw it, let me just make sure, let me just double check, let me just double check before I'm called crazy and make sure everyone says the same thing, what's your rescue team ring, how, how do you get blah, 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 blah. Make sure we go. Actually, yeah, let me just talk to Wishcast real quick. Let me talk to Wishcast, and then we can talk about the dungeon. Oh, uh, so you wish to know about the dungeon and sea? I too have heard of it. I have heard of a place that is far off our coast. It is a sea charmed by torrential storms and violent waves. It is a place apparently named the Stormy Sea. There, one will find a dungeon that leads to the bottom of the sea. The sea is in blah blah blah. Okay, I don't really feel like reading all this. Ho ho ho! You look eager to go. However. To go beneath the sea, a hidden machine named Dive is needed. Without Dive, you cannot go to the stormy sea. Ho oh, ho, your face tells me you're desperate to go. So be it. You may have this. Boom. I understand that it is very rare item that we found at a well, soul cave. If you were to carry the hidden item as an item, or if any team member wishes to enter the dungeon, use that blah blah blah. You should be able to enter the stormy sea. Gain access to the stormy sea. Beware, you must take the HM dive or a team member must learn dive as a move for the team to enter. So, uh, there we go. There's the Stormy Sea. Um, okay, let me know down in the comments below. Here's how we'll do it. Let me know down in the comments below. This is technically the ending of the series, right? This is the ending of the series. But, 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 if you guys want a bonus stream, not a bonus video, but a bonus stream where we try to take on the dungeon and maybe try and see if we can't clear up a, loo a few loose ends, let me know down in the comments below. I will be glad to do that bonus stream for you. If not, though, I'll probably do it in the future anyway. If not, though, uh, make sure to share this video with your friends. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's what we'll do. Never mind. Leave it down in the comments below. Well, that's what we'll do. We'll do it on the Odin. That's, that's how we'll handle it. So, you know. Thank you all. I just want to say a huge thank you all for joining me in this journey. I really appreciated it. It's been fun. You know, the game carried over way longer than I thought it would, but it has been a blast, and I'm ready to move on to our next Let's Play. Let me know down in the comments below. Should the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Marathon continue for one more game this year, or should we drop it here and move on to something different? Your answers will determine the next Let's Play. That being said, though, if you're new here, if you could subscribe, that will be awesome. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, and you've been helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a Super Slayer. I've been the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64 and here I am signing off from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team, for the final time until the stream. Charmander M.
You've been a great, you've been a great partner. This has been a great journey. I love you both, and I'll see you next time I play the game.